वी आर डिस्कसिंग चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन विच इज केमिकल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट केमिकल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट विल बी टेकिंग क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर ऑन दिस फर्स्ट इज फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स मोस्ट लिक्विड्स दैट कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आर सोल्यूशन ऑफ एसिड बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट द पैसेज ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट थ्रू अ सोल्यूशन कॉजेज केमिकल इफेक्ट इफ यू पास करंट थ्रू कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन दैट इज सी यू एस ओ फोर कॉपर गेट्स डिपॉजिटेड ऑन द प्लेट कनेक्टेड टू द डैश टर्मिनल ऑफ द बैटरी दैट इज द नेगेटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द बैटरी द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिपॉजिटिंग अ लेयर ऑफ एनी डिजायर्ड मेटल ऑन अनदर मेटल मटेरियल बाई मीन्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दिस इज नोन एज इलेक्ट्रो प्लेटिंग वेन द फ्री एंड ऑफ टेस्टर आर डिप इन टू अ सोल्यूशन द मैग्नेटिक नीडल शोज डिफ्लेक्शन कैन यू एक्सप्लेन द रीजन दिस इज ओनली पॉसिबल वेन देर इज सम सॉर्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट टू द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक नीडल दिस इंडिकेट देर इज इलेक्ट्रिक करंट राइट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द वायर दैट मीन्स द लिक्विड और द सोल्यूशन वेयर दिस टेस्टर हैज बिन डिप is a good conductor of electricity so the way when the free ends of a tester are dipped into a solution electric current or electric current flows because the electric circuit is completed and then electric current passes through the solution we have to name three liquids which when tested in this manner may cause the magnetic needle to deflect we can have a ground water vinegar citric fruit juice why because all these these liquid solution they contain salts that is basic or acidic that will conduct electricity the bulb does not glow in the setup here let the possible reason explain your answer there can be various reason the first and foremost foremost reason is liquid solution in container is distilled water that means it is not able to conduct electricity the bulb may be fused the battery has already been exhausted so they this has no sufficient charges that is electric current required for the bulb to glow and there may be any loose connections also like air gaps like electrodes uh, are not properly connected to the wire a tester is used to check the conduction of electricity through two liquids labeled a and b it is found that the bulb of the tester glows brightly for liquid a for liquid a while it glows very dimly for liquid b you would conclude that see this liquid a is glowing the bulb more than liquid b that means the liquid a is a better conductor than liquid b next is does pure water conduct electricity if not what can we do to make it conducting a uh, pure or distilled water does not contain salt so we because they are uh, because of this they are poor conductor of electricity so we have to add certain impurities like you can add salt you can add lemon juice vinegar to make it conducting so in case of a fire before the fireman uses uh, the water hoses they shut off the main electrical supply for the area explain why they do this they do this to avoid or to stop avoid any kind of shock so the water usually contains salts and that is why sometimes it's a very good conductor of electricity it's not in pure form so to save themselves and others from electric shock and to avoid any short circuit firemen shut off the main electrical supply for the area a child staying in coastal region tests the drinking water and also the sea water with his tester he finds that the compass needle deflects more in the case of sea water can you explain the reason this is because the sea water contains more salts so drinking water is chemically treated for us so that it is you know we can drink it and purify it by removing various impurities and salt from it while the sea water contains a lot of mineral mineral salts sea water can produces more iron that is this uh, let me tell you this is ions actually so ions these are positive ions negative ions but the ions which are important is the negative ions so they they the more electrical charges as compared to drinking water and the child sees 
more deflection in magnetic needle in case of sea water just because it is a good conductor of electricity. Is it safe for the electrician to carry out electrical repairs outdoors during heavy downpour? Explain. The answer is no, it's very risky and unsafe to carry out any electrical repairs outdoors uh, during heavy downpour. Why? Because water, when impure, is good conductor of electricity and there are chances of getting any electric shock. Paheli had heard that rainwater is uh, as good as distilled water. So she collected some rainwater in a clean glass tumbler and tested it using a tester. To her surprise, she found that the compass needle shows deflection. What could be the reason? The answer is the, the water is of course very pure in the form, but we, we in the air there are a lot of impurities. So air in our surroundings, they contain gases, suspended dust particles and pollutants. So these particles, they get dissolved in rainwater and make it good conducting medium for the electricity. Prepare a list of objects around you that are electroplated. So you can answer like this. Cold rings, cans are tin plated. Artificial jewelry items are silver or gold plated. Car bumpers, cycle handles, they are chromium plated. Metal doors, door handles are zinc plated. The process that we saw is used for purification of co copper. A thin plate of pure copper and a thick rod of impure copper are used as electrodes. Now copper from impure rod is sought to be transferred to the thin copper plate. Which electrode should be attached to the positive terminal of battery and why? The answer would be impure copper plate should be connected to the positive terminal. Why? Pure copper plate should be connected to negative terminal of electrode because the copper ions are positively charged. So Cu is positively charged. And this will attract always the negative electrode terminal. So this is all about this chapter. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.